And it is our mission at News Nation and as journalists to bring you different sides of the issues and stories we cover so you can form your own opinion. And tonight, we want to hear from two foster care experts with diverging opinions on whether the United States foster care program, as we know it, is in fact a racist system. Foster care is when uh, state governments or county governments uh, determine that a child is uh, unsafe living with their current caregiver and they come in and remove that child from that home and place that child with someone else, um, either a relative or a non-relative. I think it's really important to understand what is at the root of maltreatment. And again, um, you see disparate rates of maltreatment in part because you see disparate kinds of family structures. Um, so African American children are more likely to be in a particular situation which we know puts them at great risk for abuse or neglect, which is to say, if you are a child living with a, a non-relative male, so say a mother and a mother's boyfriend, um, you're about 10 times as likely to suffer from abuse as you are if you're living with two married parents as a child. Um, and so we know just from statistics that African-American children are much more likely to be living uh, with a single mother and living with a single mother and a boyfriend um, than white children are, and white children are more likely to be living in that situation than Asian children are. I was a caseworker, worked my way all the way up to being head of Texas Child Protective Services Program, which is one of the largest, uh, you know, in the country, one of the largest. And so to know about the fact that without really being conscious of it, we have trained staff uh, to not go to poor communities of color by themselves, uh, to not go there at night, uh, to put their purses in the trunk before they get there, to not wear nice jewelry, uh, to wear comfortable shoes, to as soon as they're in the home, to spot their exit. The question is, what do we already know about the community before we ever get there? And consistently, what we know is that we are afraid to go to those communities because the messages that we have gotten tell us that we could be seriously injured in those communities. What we found was that we were more likely to remove children of color in almost the exact same situation that we would provide in-home services to white families. And so I would say uh, that in, in that situation, that it was really a matter of how we have been socialized, right? And Dr. James went on to say that this question is broader than just whether the foster care system is racist. She is encouraging an examination of all systems, education, juvenile justice, education, housing, to determine differences in outcomes between races across the country. Our other expert who you heard from there, Naomi Schaefer Riley, is publishing a new book about the current state of child welfare in the U.S. set to be released later in 2021. Important issue. Mm -hmm.